Good morning, you guys, and welcome to today's task. Okay, no, we're just on the set of today's task. This is a Bonnie Holine vlog, and I am gonna give you guys a little bit of a recap. Do you remember how, like, a few weeks ago, we got set back a little bit because our permit papers weren't all the way submitted, so we got a big delay there, a couple weeks. That's come and gone. We've gotten our permit, finalized, everything's done and ready, and I was actually ready for a four-way inspection. During our four-way inspection, they are checking for things like electrical wiring being done properly, um, all of the stuff in junction boxes, the kitchen being wired, our light that we've wired in, everything. They were checking for all that stuff to be done properly. One of the other things they were checking for was that our egress windows met egress standards. And you better believe, these basement windows passed. All of the windows that we cut out of the house in the basement met the standards and are good to go. All of my electrical was flawless and it's good to go. This is amazing. I was really surprised. I thought I was, I don't know. I don't know. I just didn't know. But we did get a fail at one spot. We failed this window. Now, was that my oversight? I think possibly so. I was very caught up on the basement windows meeting egress standards. I totally forgot about egress standards upstairs. And this window does not open up near far enough. It has to open up five inches further than it already does for somebody to properly egress out. So we have to take this whole window and tear it out and put a whole brand new one in there. So until then, we are delayed on sheetrock. We are delayed on a lot of things happening on this house and moving forward. But the inspector was super nice. He was really cool about things. And he said, get that taken care of and we'll get it moving. But he did give us permission to start insulating. So we're gonna start insulating today. It is a new day. Joel went through and told you everything that wasn't going so smooth, but today, things are going to go very smooth. I just have a feeling. I'll get to the outside, which here's just a sneak peek. The almost, the entire house has a new shell, if you will. And on the inside of the house, it sounds much less echoey. Do you notice that? You can see that we had the insulators come and they have started the insulation because we were given permission to do that from the inspectors. So that is completed all the way on the upstairs, which very exciting, very exciting. Earlier on the outside of the house, here's the stages and the layers that this kind of went down. I think we're just going to appreciate the before <laughs> for when we see the after. <laughs> we ripped off all of the siding on the house because it was no good and we realized there wasn't a base layer of wood around the house, so we went through, added a base layer of wood all the way around the whole house. Once we got the wood layered around the house, then Joel went through and wrapped the house with this wrapping, and now we are just finishing up with reciting the entire house. So Joel has gone through and he has recited everything except that wall that I just showed you. And I cannot believe how, like it's transforming this place. It is completely transforming this place. I brought Joel out here because I want him to tell you guys all about this stuff because it is available anywhere in the country so that way, if any of you guys are interested in it, we'll give you kind of the details on it. I wanted this house to have clapboard siding because that's what it had originally. So we went with the eight inch clapboard siding, which gives us a seven inch reveal. It's also available in a five or a six and a seven inch reveal. And I don't know anything about what Joel is just saying. However, I liked that it was smooth and I'm pretty sure that you don't get that smoothness with other materials or like not all materials and just for like cleaning purposes, I wanted a smoother surface. I really like the smooth. If you guys are interested in using the siding or other siding that Nichiha offers, I will put the information in the description below for you guys. This morning, I have Ansco back here today and they are taking care of the windows and that's pretty cool. So they are here repairing that window and what was cool was when I contacted Ansco, they were like, hey, we wanna make sure this is right for you, ready for inspection. So they put a rush on it, got up here and we are good to go within a reasonable time limit. That was amazing for them to do that. I'm 
sure that Joel showed you guys this window. I'm so glad they were able to get this fixed and taken care of. And I honestly, I think I like it better. It makes the window look bigger because each pane is bigger instead of it being just like one big middle one. I think it looks really good. And I'm really glad they were able to do it without messing up any of the outside work that Joel worked so hard on getting done. Super glad that the window is now fixed. Super glad that the siding is almost done. So you guys saw that Bo and Joel and Grandpa Stan Holine has been getting all of the siding done, this is all that's left. So hopefully that'll get buttoned up today when Bo comes back to help. And that's it, this was a really big vlog. I feel like there was so much that got done in this video, so hallelujah for that. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are not caught up to date with all of our new housing situation, I will leave a link in the description and it has all of the house updates in that playlist. See you guys later, bye.